everyone, let me share a wonderful quote from Rajas. Corrosion in metal will destroy their strength, but corrosion in human life will destroy their life and its surrounding. You might wondering, what is my presentation is about? Yeah, you are right. It is about corrosion. Special welcome to my panel, Dr. Muhammad Azhar and Dr. Fazima to my final year project presentation. I am Baby Jen, a final year student of Bachelor in Mechanical and Manufacturing Engineering with Horner. My FYP title is The Influence of Corrosion Parameter on Carbon Steel Piping Under Chemical Treatment. I am supervised by Prof. Dr. Sharudin. Presentation slide will be covered on Chapter 1 Introduction, Chapter 2 Literature Review, and Chapter 3 Methodology. Without wasting time, let me start my Chapter 1. Move to the next slide. Corrosion has a great influence on material. The serious consequence of corrosion has become a problem of worldwide significance. This is because the corrosion will weaken the bonds of the material. At the same time, it also affects in the mechanical properties such as the thickness, the pressure, the bending stress, tensile stress, and hardness. The corrosion can be started from a degradation. Corrosion causes plant shutdown, waste of revolvable resources, loss or contamination of product, reduction in efficiency, costly maintenance, and expensive over design. As you can see in the picture, this is a bending pipe. So what we can see in the visual inspection, from our eyes, we can see there is a corrode part, which means the pipe is already corroded. And from the simulation, we can see that the red spot is observed. So this is this means the corrosion happened in the pipe bending pipeline. Based on the sink and corrosive studies, corrosion can happen in pipeline that are buried, exposed to the elements, or submerged in the water. Every pipeline system will eventually degradation if it is not a proper maintain. Therefore, corrosion damage not only result in high cost for renovation and replacement, but it is also affect public safety risk. From the problem statement, this is why I choose this topic as my research study. First, there are many effects of pipeline failure due to the corrosion, such as loss of metal, pressure drop will occur in the pipeline, cracking and also may constitute serious hazard to the gas in the pipeline. Besides that, the corrosion also may damage the pipeline and even humans. What is the problem to solve in this research? Is the parameter that influence the rate of corrosion in pipeline occur, which are the pH value, the temperature and the metal which expose to the acidic environment are the main objective to observe. For my research objective on what I want to achieve when I conduct this study, firstly, I would like to identify the type of the chemical solution, pH value, temperature, and acid content on the corrosion rate of the carbon steel piping exposed to the chemical environment. Secondly, to determine the characteristic, the, the characteristic of the carbon steel piping under chemical exposure. Third is to identify the inner pipe corrosion profiling. For my scope of this research will be conducted by using carbon steel specimen only. The method we're using is mainly focused on corrosion in acidic environment. Apply the chemical treatment by using erythro deposition to erythroid cell in ethanol solution of 0.038 m cerium chloride and 0.1 m myristic acid Method of the existing pipe will be used on this study is the erythrochemical test testing method will be applied and the test was conducted in the room temperature. Erythrolyte that I use is 3.5% of sodium chloride mixing with 1% and 5% of waste orange peel as the green inhibitor. And I also use the scanning erythron microscopy which is SEM for observing microstructure and corrosion profiling. So for my significance of the study will be detect the service life of the carbon steel pipe to avoid the sudden failure of equipment may cause fire, explosion or release of toxic product. Provide a specific information on the condition that can lead to corrosion, 
reduce the cost needed for repair or replacement of the corroded component. For the chapter 2 is a literature review. This is my paper finding which will be covered is nearer to my research study. From the first paper, comparative study of propylene system used as corrosion inhibitors to test the corrosion resistance of two other types of organic inhibitor and to study in which condition they behave similarly to anti-corrosive PEM. So for my finding from the result regarding of the electrochemical study of the corrosion resistance of the protective layer formed from the first set of the experiment, I found that the table can put in my methodology. From the second paper, pitting and uniform corrosion source, recognition, recognition using acoustic emission AE parameter to discover which are the uh, to discover which AE parameter and caught information about AE sources from bubbles. The experiment was performed on pitting and uniform corrosion tests. So from my finding of from this paper, I will study about how the electrochemical testing been used. For the methodology part, I will be focusing on how I will be conducted my test. But first for most, we have to look into the project flowchart first that is linked to my objective. This flowchart is planned for the first objective which are to identify the type of chemical solution, pH value, temperature and acid content on the corrosion rate of the current steel piping. For the second objective, I will use the SEM which is a scanning electron microscopy to investigate the features of carbon steel piping such as their microstructure. At the same time, I also can observe the corrosion profiling which is the curve of the curvy graph. Next, I will do sample preparation, do sectioning, mounting, grinding, polishing and electro preparation. The table, there is a difference pH value mean difference concentrations of the inhibitor which is the waste of orange pills then I will measure the first I will measure the first trial until the fifth trial then I will see the corrosion red, uh, corrosion red difference between the different concentrations of the inhibitor the second table is I will put in room temperature with the durations and I will observe if there is a defects on the rate of corrosion. Lastly, from my gun chart, PSM briefing and supervisor selection done in week 1, title selection and paper finding done in week 7 and week 11, chapter 1 introduction done in week 4, chapter 2 literature review done in between week 5 to week 12, chapter 3 done in between week 10 to week 12, following by submission draft to supervisor and panel in early than the expected depth. Lastly, in week 15, I will be doing my final year project presentation. That's all my presentation. Thank you.